Hey guys, it's Two Pro Few Games or Adam, and when you take Origins and you compare it to Drys and Draka, the maps are incredibly similar. Just there's so many things that are similar from each map, same bosses, same, you know, weapons really, and just same concept. And today I'm going to be comparing each of the maps and letting you know which one I think is better. Ever since Dreisendraka has dropped, a lot of people have been saying that it's like the best zombie map ever made. And uh, I think a contender for that title is definitely Origins. I think Origins is an absolutely amazing zombie map. And that's kind of why I want to compare these maps head to head because uh, people are saying they're both amazing and they are very similar, all right? So the first thing, of course, is the bows and the staffs. You know, they're pretty much the exactly the exact same thing, all right? The staffs, uh, a little bit different because you actually got a the, the non-upgraded staff first and on Dryzen Draka it's just the regular bow and then you upgrade it and you get that special element, right? With the staffs, you crafted like the lightning bow or the ice bow or the wind or fire bow and then you upgrade it. So you have two versions of the staffs, but on Dryzen Draka it's just the upgraded bow, nothing else, or just the regular bow, which really doesn't have any special um, effect or anything like that. It's just a regular bow with some fire at the end of it. So, uh, when I compare the staffs to the bows, this is a question I get literally every time I stream. You know, what's better, the staffs or the bows? And I think, in my opinion, I think the staffs are better just because you have two versions of it, right? Like the the not upgraded lightning staff is actually really good on Origins. It's actually amazing. And then on Dryzen Rock, you have an upgraded lightning bow, but you don't have like a regular version of that bow, which is kind of unfortunate because I kind of liked how they did it with Origins, but I have to give it to the staffs for this one just because you have the non-upgraded and then the upgraded versions of each of the elemental staffs. Now, I'm not going to be breaking down like every part of the map and comparing it to head to head. That's not what this video is. I just want to have a, you know, a chill discussion with you guys and just the bows and the staffs is a question I get a lot. So I wanted to kind of talk about that. Um, but everything else to do with Origins and Horizon and Dragon, you have the Panzer on each of the maps. I found that the Panzer was a little bit easier on Origins. Uh, he did have the claw, but it wasn't as, he wasn't as powerful or as strong as he is here on Horizon and Dragon. On Origins, you know, he'd pretty much be the, have the same health the entire game. Like on round 70, you could just melt him with the Raygun Mark II. But then again, here on Dryzen Draka, the higher you go, the more health he has and he's harder to kill. So the Panzer, even though he had the claw, I think he was easier on uh, Origins, but I don't think it's really too big of a deal on Dryzen Draka. So to me, the Panzer is completely fine. And then, of course, we have the Wonder Fizz, which is exactly the same thing uh, as it is on uh, Dryas and Drog versus Origins. And overall, I think a big thing is map size. And I, I almost feel like they're kind of the same. I think Origins is bigger. Um, but uh, it almost doesn't feel like that. I think Dryas and Draka feels a lot bigger than it actually is. When you think 50% bigger than the giant, to me, it seems a lot bigger than that. There's a lot of running around to do, and I feel like having stamina is something you have to have on both maps. And uh, I think they're both fairly larger maps. Of course, like I said, Origins is clearly bigger, but uh, Dryzen Drock feels pretty big. Now, here's the thing. Um, is Dryzen Drock the best zombie map ever made? And in my opinion, no, I don't, I don't think it's the best. I think Origins still is the best zombie map ever made. Um, it's not like my personal favorite zombie map. I, I, I love the, I love Durice. I think that map's amazing just because of the nostalgia. But uh, I think Origins is the best map ever made just because of, the map was done I think perfectly because not only did it have the staffs 
which were amazing and you could use you know four different staffs and each kind of had its own unique thing same with the bows on Dreisendrock but then you had an amazing selection of box weapons and that's something that uh, Dreisendrock uh, lacks and in the box on Origins you know you had the most of the weapons that you had throughout Black Ops 2 Zombies but they added in of course the MG08 which was such a fun gun to use. They, you had the Mauser upgraded, the Boom Hilda, which was a really fun gun, really unique gun, really good for taking out the Panzer as well. And they added in like the Scorpion, the Scar, which was just absolutely amazing as well. Uh, the Ballista, they added in a good amount of weapons, up with like five new weapons, box weapons on that map, unless I'm missing something. Plus, you, know, you have the Ray Gun, the Ray Gun Mark II, and just all of the other box weapons. And that's one thing that jumps out to me uh, with Origins, is the selection of weapons. I found, like, when I played Origins, I could constantly be doing something different. And uh, with Jirizendraka, uh, it's the bows. Like, the bows dominate. You have to use the bows because if you don't, you, you're gonna have some troubles getting to those like really high rounds. And of course, it's the same thing with Origins, but I found with Origins, there was more flexibility with the weapons that I could use. And uh, it's just not that same thing with Dreisendrock. Now Dreisendrock, guys, it's an amazing map. I think it is definitely in the top five best maps made. I think it's really amazing, but I don't think it beats out Origins. I think Origins, you know, it had an amazing Easter egg as well. Um, Origins was great, and I'm really curious to see what else they bring with the other DLCs. And if the first DLC was this good, guys, who knows what we're going to be getting in the future. Who knows what we're going to be getting for our fourth DLC. And Black Ops 2's first DLC, guys, was uh, Die Rise. And when you compare Die Rise to Dreisendraka, it's just not even... It's, not, it's like transit, comparing Transit to uh, Origins. You know, you know which one's going to be better. But... Uh, this map right here, it's definitely the best map, a uh, new map in Black Ops 3 Zombies. And uh, I think it's, of course, the best map we've had since Origin. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think. What map do you like better? Do you think Origins is king? Or do you think Jirizendraka is better than Origins now? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.